has the power to transform society? What could make it a, a better world to live in? Uh, we've heard lots over the last year, haven't we, about injustices. It seems that the pandemic has, has brought them out to the fore. Uh, we've heard about Black Lives Matter or, or the way that uh, different professions, the people who work in them, are, are treated. We've seen lots of protests against different injustices. Uh, what will make the world a better place? Perhaps you say that it's, it's better and fairer laws uh, or, or leaders who are selfless instead of greedy. Uh, what would make a better society? And if we think about it for a bit, we can see that the problem with the world is often people. It starts with what's in the human hearts, doesn't it? Uh, what's going to transform us? What, what's going to make people better people, live better lives, love one another more? What has the power to transform? How can we change the world? Well, that's what the, Paul's letter to Titus is all about. It's God's great plan to transform society by transforming individuals. And the thing we're going to find out is that it's not self-help or having greater self-confidence that's going to do it. It's not going to be putting in place good habits. Uh, all of these things are good things, but something else has got to be in place as the core of the plan. If there's going to be change in me, then there's going to be improvement in society as a whole. And Paul puts it right up front in his letter to Titus. Uh, what the plan is, it's there in verse one. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ to further the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth that leads to godliness. Knowledge of the truth leads to godliness, godly living, living like a child of God, uh, showing his good character in the way we live. The thing that produces godliness, it's knowing the truth. What truth, we ask? Well, uh, as Titus goes on, Paul's going to tell us what he means by the truth, and he's going to tell us that it, he means the gospel about Jesus. The good news that Jesus Christ is the God of the universe and the only saviour. Uh, that he saved us not through anything that we'd done, but through his sacrificial death, which washed us clean on the inside and makes us God's children. It's that news that has the power to transform. It's the knowledge of the truth about Jesus, the knowledge of the truth of the gospel that leads to godliness and nothing else will do it, nothing else has the power. Well, perhaps you say, well, well, I'm not sure I'm with you yet. Surely other things have got more power to transform society than knowledge about, about Jesus. Well, stick with me then. Uh, this week, uh, we'll work through the first half of Titus, and then um, in two weeks' time, we'll, we'll come back in after Andrew does a week of thoughts for the day and, uh, and finish off the second half. Uh, and uh, hopefully after we've uh, had a look through the whole book, uh, you'll see how the plan's going to work. Or, or maybe this isn't news to you. Maybe uh, if you've been reading the Bible a lot, then, then, then you're already with this. Well, we always need reminding uh, that uh, it, it is the knowledge of the gospel that will transform us and transform the world. Because I find it so easy to, to start acting as though um, other things have got more power uh, than people knowing the gospel. So I hope you'll uh, join me over uh, these two weeks of thoughts for the day. Let me pray. Uh, Father, we thank you so much for the great gospel, the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ uh, that we have because he, he really came uh, to your world, uh, God the Son, and he did that so that he could die for us. And we thank you that, that it is that good news that has the power to, to enable us to live godly lives and as more and more people are transformed in godliness to change society. Uh, Father, would you uh, teach us this deeply as we work through Titus, help us to marvel at your great plan and to get on board with it in our lives. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, good to see you. Hope to see you again tomorrow as we continue in Titus. Take care. God bless. Yeah.